Hey what's up you guys, it's me Eclectic Witch Natasha and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be more demonstration and more um, physically doing stuff as opposed to just talking. So this is going to be a lot of fun. So before I get into it, currently I'm doing some spring cleaning on my altar that's upstairs in my bedroom and I decided I wanted to make a little ocean um, altar that's dedicated for the old ocean for beach magic and just I want a space on my altar that I can look at, I can attune myself to, connect to, that will make me feel close to the beach because I live on the east coast. I actually live pretty close to the beach but the weather is not ideal for the beach. So for that reason I'm going to be making my own um, beach ocean altar. So I'm going to be putting it in this vessel. It's basically a bowl. I got this from the thrift store um, a few years ago. Usually I just use this to hold my gemstones, to charge under the full moon and whatnot. But this time I'm going to be using it for my um, ocean altar for my Sea Witchcraft Beach Magic. So, as you can imagine, since this is going to be dedicated for the ocean and the beach, my materials that I will be using for this are either going to be related to the beach, I have personally collected, or I have bought for the aesthetic of the beach. So, I have this jar of sand that I have collected from last year. It is completely dry. You wanna be careful when you collect um, beach sand because if it doesn't have time to properly dry and you seal it, it's gonna be, um, holding in all that moisture and it's going to mold within the jar. So just a little tip for you guys. Um, I have some things I did collect from the beach last year besides the sand. I have um, a feather here from a seagull. I have some stones that I collected on the beach, some seashells. Um, I have a wire cage in case I want to incorporate crystals into this, but um, let's see what else. Oh, I have this oracle deck. Um, all the cards are um, mermaids and dolphins, so that goes with the beach um, theme. So I'm going to be putting a card that I tune with for this. This is just a small trinket box. That um, These are just small items that I connect to. Basically, this should be in a power bag, if you guys are familiar with what that is. But I don't have one yet, so I keep it in this for now. I also have this bag of shells I got from a store a while back and I just never opened it. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna be using these. And then I also have some craft paper. It has different um, pictures on it. That's on each page and whatnot. So the ones that have images of water or the beach on them, I'm gonna use. So. Those are the materials I'm using, but like I said, if you are doing this for yourself, for your own altar, for your own home or whatever, um, like I said, you can literally make this like maybe in a small jar, you can make this in a small cup and put it on your altar, um, and it doesn't even have to be fancy, you just make what you want of it, what makes you, you know, you're able to look at it, you feel the energy of it, the intention, and it makes you feel connected to the ocean or the beach that way. So that's what I'm doing. So first... I'm gonna open this jar of sand. I'm gonna be using this spoon. This spoon I dedicated for my craft, so I definitely don't want to be using spoons that I use to eat. So I'm gonna be taking my small bowl here, and I'm going to take my spoon and just simply pour the sand out. I'm only gonna pour enough to cover the bottom, and if I need to add more, I will. It's better to you know, slowly go, then to add too much. So, okay, maybe a little bit more. <sighs> I miss the beach so much, you guys. Okay, so, put my sand in there. Now, I'm going to add my seashells. So, and like I said, you can customize this any way you want. Like, if I wanted to, I could take Gem, um, I could take these flat stones that I got from the beach, I 
could paint sigils or images or runes on them that represent the beach or maybe a deity that's connected to the um, water or the ocean, you know, like giving you some ideas. But I'm going to open this bad boy because I haven't done that yet. So, like I said, you're just making this how you want it to be. I kind of want to show you guys what I'm doing. So I'm going to move this camera. Can you guys... Okay. You guys can see a little bit better. So this is the vessel I'm using. Opening up these shelves. Ooh, it has a dried starfish in here. So I will place I think I will add this because I found this on the beach and I thought it was literally impossible to see anything that pretty. Um, I'm going to be adding a tea light, it's just white. I'm going to put it inside of the shell. Well, this one has a hole in it, but it's okay because that will cover it. Perfect. I'll put that in the center. I'm going to add one of the cards that connect with in here. Let's see. You know what? Let's do it the witchy way. Interesting. So I got these cards. I'm going to use the Make a Wish card. Right in there. Okay. Let's add this feather to represent air. I am an air sign. And like I said, have fun with this. This is the fun part. I think I'm going to personalize this a little bit more. In this trinket box. Ooh, okay. I think I will add. This is a small uh, turquoise bead. That's for jewelry. I'm going to put this in there. Close to the candle. And also going to add more of the seashells that I got from the bee. See what else. I think I'm going to add this. In there for means of protection. Okay. Now I'm going to add some of this paper. So let's see. We have a wave. Actual beach. Ooh, I like this one. Okay, so first I need to see a 
how that's gonna fit. Okay, I'm gonna have to cut this a little bit. So I'm just going to do this the easy way. I'm just gonna fold this. also adds more of your personal energy into this. Okay. So roughly I have a new size for this image. to show you guys what I have. Let's lift this camera up. Hello you guys. So this is what I've made of my filter. Like I said, you can make this your own. It doesn't have to be fancy or extravagant or unless you want it to you can add figurines or um, sigils like make this your own but I hope you guys enjoy this video it was a lot of fun to do now I have this for my altar so thank you guys for watching I'm going to be consecrating this and blessing it and probably adding a few more finishing touches but this is roughly it so thank you guys for watching bye